All right, so just got off work. Boom. Tired. I'm. I want to relax, man. Work, I work so hard. I got a hole in my sock. I go through one pair every day. But look at this. And of course, I'm here. Oh, my neck, my back. Oh, I don't know why it hurts. Oh, my shoulder kills me. Don't chill like this for long periods of time. That's it. You can't for a little bit. Everything in moderation, baby. It's moderated. This is not bad if your TV's pretty low. It'll help. But this is the best way. Get that pillow out of there. You throw that against the wall with the right height. You just sit back and relax. Ah, perfect. Now, let's observe you in your natural habitat. Ah, just got into work. Scooch into my little cubby, my desk. Let's, let's, let's get to work, baby. Let's do it. Oh, but wait. Hold on. Oh, no, it started already. Bro, you five minutes in? Come on, you killing me. Look at this posture, reaching for the mouse, total disregard for everything. Just chilling, putting all that force into the shoulder. Ugh, oh, the forbidden lean, acting like God won't strike you down, like he not watching. Come on, son. And then we're going to be on the phone for a long period of time. You know, that all, all these things add up. And at the end of the day, you're feeling achy and you don't know why. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Your posture sucks. We need to work on that awareness and get you better. Now you're out here typing, trying to figure out how to fix your pain. I bet. I believe it. Look, you see, I told you. Let's see what you type in. What you going to type in? How to fix my back and neck pain. Of course you would. Watch you try to look for the one that's like four minutes. But I guess I'll just show you how. Another thing is the height of your damn TV. See, this is perfect. Perfect height. I'm gonna arch my neck like crazy and look awful and destroy my posture. But once upon a time I did, you see those little holes up there? Gotta fix that, but mind your business. My TV was too high and it was causing me neck and back pain. It was forcing me to sit all weird. And the best thing too is, now I can actually sit here, across the room, watch TV, turn it, and I still won't bother my neck like before. All right, desk ergonomics, let's talk about it. So you got your low back support, your neck support, and your booty support. These are all things that are gonna be really important, right? So boom, boom, check it out, check it out. Sit down, gives me the right height, you know why? Keep that elbow to desk relationship. Look at that, my keyboard is right in the center. I'm not twisting or anything that's bad if you're twisting and rotating for a long period of time. Boom, easy, accessible, right? My mouse is very close and accessible. You can also get an ergonomic mouse. It's kind of like this, 20 bucks. Anchor has one, I believe. The most important thing is as neutral as possible. If you're gonna give a little bit, it's gonna happen, but I'd rather a little like this than like this, or like this, or like this, right? Which is also why the height is so important. Because if my chair was lower, I'm looking at my screen like that, right? You wanna be in a position where you can look at the screen with a neutral neck position, right? You see here, it's perfect for me. I'm a little tiny bit higher, actually. Right there is perfect. I don't have to look down, up, whatever. Everything is right in front of you, right? I can just type away and do my damn thing. It's gonna take time, you're gonna keep messing up, and that's okay, that's normal. The trick is to keep catching yourself with your bad habits, fix it, stop you off. Oh, gotta fix that. I do that all the time too, but I catch myself and I fix it. That's the difference. I get not everyone has the liberty of this next option. That pad right there costs like 30 bucks. Just a standing desk pad. It's for the feet. I mean, it's to help a little bit. So I took my shoes off. You don't, can't do that if you're in the office. No. Boom. This desk costs about 300 bucks. Four feet by two feet. If you got a home office or your job allows it, get it done. Dope. I know, I know. It's nice. It's very nice. Let it come up as high as you really need to. There's good for me. I took my monitor up a little bit. Not every monitor has that option. And boom, knock it out, knock it out. It's really dope. A lot of times too, I'll have something playing this while I'm working out. So I have this screen with the TV over there, right? Boom, kill it, right? Don't do this though. Don't, don't, don't do the booty lean. Don't do that. That's gonna mess your hip up, it's gonna cause your back pain. I didn't realize for years I was doing that and standing over things like this all the time when I got fatigued. And that was a source of a lot of my back pain and a lot of my tight hips. Or a little bit of hip pain, but you know, my hips just really got tight for the back. But if you have this option, do it. All right, this next thing I'm gonna show you is more for the people who are standing all the time. Like, let's see, hold on, let me grab, oh, it's not over there. Peridone. 
All right, let's say I'm at an office, right? And the desks are really low. No electronics, no nothing. We're just writing, filling in patient charts, right? I was at one when the desk was this low and we're standing. So what are we doing all day? Look at our neck, look at our back, look at our shoulder. We're doing this, we're doing this. It gets crazy. You're looking for charts, you're throwing everything around. You run over there, you run back, boom. What I used to try to do, you know, I'm a nerd like that. You know, boom. Stagger athletic stand, baby. That's how we do it. But that's the only way I can kind of deal with that because at that point it is the height of the table whatever you're writing on. So the surfaces that you write on are very important. Wherever you spend a lot of time, you want to optimize it for your body, right? And if you can't, you may want to see three things that you can do, the office can do. Like for example, I know maybe some offices won't buy you a chair. You got a chair that has been sat in for like 15 years and it's garbage, right? You might want to bite the bullet and buy one of your own. You know, if you really, really, really want to help, right? If you really want and you don't have any other options, you might have to just do that, right? And another thing, this is for people who stand a lot, sit a lot, anyone who is watching a lot of things. Maybe you, you don't have your eyes strictly on a monitor in front of you. I had a friend that was a security guard. Right side was super tight, didn't know why. Asked him a few questions, figured it out. The main monitor he looks at is to the right and up. That's why everything here is getting so tight. See, small little behaviors like that we don't realize accumulate and cause stiffness and pain, right? For example, I'm at a clinic. I could be like this for a really long period of time, just watching somebody, right? You have to watch stuff like that. Five minutes, two minutes here, I'm gonna kill you. But if you do this a lot into this side only, it starts compounding. It starts adding up. Another thing, sometimes I'd be watching someone squat and I'm out here like this. What's happening to my neck? Everything is forward. I have to watch their feet and I have to have my hands here to catch them if lose balance. Balance board, anything. I'm always looking at certain people's feet. I'm watching you squat. I'm doing this. It's always important to remember to fix that neck, stand up, and look with your eyes, not with your neck. Man, that was pretty deep, right? You watch with your eyes, not with your neck. Ooh, get him, Ken. Anywho, this is the first part of like a five or six part series. Each other video, we're gonna talk about specific parts of the body. Neck, shoulders, etc., etc. And we're just gonna explore. I'm gonna show you stretches and try to give you guys the best solutions as possible. And I want you to, look, you see? Look, look, and we gotta adjust that. We gotta practice what we preach, baby. That's what it's about. But yeah, you sometimes may have to buy things for your job, like, Something you could screw on here to keep it leveled. So it keeps the shoulder nice and healthy. You may even have to buy your own chair, which is unfortunate. If you do, buy one that goes up and down and in and out. That's how you truly adjust it. But yeah, man, future videos are gonna be great. I hope you guys see me in your dreams. I hope when you're breaking your posture and you're doing all sorts of ugly things, you feel my eyes staring at you and you adjust it. I hope, I hope, I hope that's the case. But until next time, guys, keep doing your stretching. Watch your posture and mind your business.